Thanks. Now, new at six, living with cystic fibrosis is a struggle to survive, a battle that ultimately squeezes away a patient's breath and takes his life. It's just awful. So many mm. kids with CF don't even reach their 18th birthday, but a very big U of A fan is beating mm -hmm. the odds. And we have News 4 Tucson's Paul Sikala here to introduce us. That's right. It's certainly been a stunning story of survival so far. Andrew Valdez was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when he was three months old and he's been in and out of the hospital his entire life. But being raised a diehard U of A fan has helped Andrew find positives in a life that's been unfairly cruel and painful. How you doing, I'm doing pretty good, how have you been? Andrew Valdez is growing weaker every day, but not even a life-threatening illness can keep him from hanging out with his friends, who just happen to play football at the U of A. I think if I was a football player, I think I'd want to be defense. Whether it's with linebacker Scooby Wright, Anthony Lopez, or safety Tremaine Bondurant, Andrew loves talking Wildcat football. you probably one of my favorite defensive players, man. Defense is an appropriate subject for Andrew because battling cystic fibrosis has forced him to become his own defender every day on the field of life, constantly combating a disease that makes him fight for every breath he takes. Still, Andrew bears down through bear hugs. I've always had his spirits up, always makes him feel better, I know it does, and every time I see him, it makes me feel better too. Anthony Lopez belongs to the U of A's Uplifting Athletes, a national nonprofit dedicated to helping those with rare diseases. Lopez and other Wildcats were at Andrew's bedside numerous times during his month long hospital stay in October. Hey, Kevin. There's a different group of guys, it seems like, every week seven or eight, ten guys that do it, and they do it on their free time just out of goodness of their heart. It's really an honor. A mutual honor, as Andrew was also inspired by the play of his buddy, linebacker Anthony Lopez against Colorado. Anthony Lopez. As he forced a fumble that Tremaine Bondurant returned for a touchdown. Take it and go to the house. I almost leapt out of my seat. <laughs> Football matchups end, but Andrew's battle with cystic fibrosis goes on every day. And recently, he's been too weak to attend the games. But he doesn't skip a beat as he celebrates the Wildcat wins and offers strength in the setbacks. And it's no good! I don't want the guys to be put down by a loss. I always want them to keep our head up because even with losses, I'm always a Wildcat fan. One that his father, Art Valdez, says always remains optimistic despite the disabilities. I just wish he could be like, you know, his brother and all the other kids where they can stay out there and shoot hoop for hours. To put things into perspective, Andrew became extremely yeah, yeah, winded yeah, yeah. after taking just three shots into my makeshift hoop. And Andrew's pain makes his father emotional. Real emotional. <laughs> you know, it's hard to know he has to suffer. Every day for little Andrew revolves around medication, medication, and more medication, literally. He always has to take insulin every single day, of course, breathing treatments as well. And this is no exaggeration, folks. Literally, we are talking 40 pills a day. 40. No day is real easy. It hurts a lot. And a lot of it comes from just violent, violent cough attacks that happen throughout the day. Andrew has to be connected to a device like this that shakes him up in order to clear his airway so he can breathe better. You can hear in my voice how much wear and tear it does to the body. And it's part of what every cystic fibrosis patient has to do. It's very hard to see your child do, you know, go through these kind of things. Things that negatively affect most of his body, with the exception of one bigger thing, Andrew's huge heart. Talk about the inspiration that you can be and are to other kids with cystic fibrosis. I hope I can show them that not to give up. I, I do sometimes compare myself to U of A. Yes, Andrew draws parallels in his life to Arizona's dramatic Hail Mary victory against California. Just when you think it's all over with, boom, there's always hope. In this case, Austin Hill kept Arizona alive with a game-winning catch for an improbable victory. And no matter how bad I was feeling that night, I still watched them play to the end. You know, he's tough. He always has a smile on his face, so... Um... You know, it really, it really brightens our days. Because Hill and other players know, Andrew's courage is also an inspiration to them. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not going to stop. Because Andrew Valdez is certainly one tough cat.
Well, Andrew, of course, will be the keynote speaker this Saturday at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation's Breath of Life Gala. He's helping raise awareness and money for research in hopes of making the hideous disease something you can live with rather than die from. Tickets to the gala at Lowe's Ventana Canyon are still available. For more information, just go to our website. We'll have an article at kvoa.com.